Buried Richtofen side Easter egg. Make sure at the beginning of your game that no players have their tower set to blue. This Easter egg can be completed four player co-op. Make sure at the beginning of your game that your tower is neutral or orange. As if your tower is already blue, these steps will not work and the parts will not spawn. To begin the buried easter egg, there are two things you must do that can be done in any order. You must interact with four orbs around the map, and you must also build the guillotine. In no particular order, I'll start with explaining the orbs. There are four orbs around the map that you will need to interact with. There are two ways to interact with them. The easier of the two requires you to get the Paralyzer Wonder Weapon from the mystery box on this map and use it to heat the orbs up. You'll know it's working when the orb itself is starting to glow more and more white and eventually makes a loud ding noise. The other way to do this is to destroy the orbs by using the subsurface resonator buildable that will require a turbine for its power supply. Here are the following orb locations. To build the guillotine, you will need four parts. On screen right now, I will show you the location for each part. Be careful as the spool of wire as well as the antenna can easily be used for the Maxis side easter egg by building them on the gallows. We are doing the Richtofen side, so be sure to build these on the guillotine and not the noose. Now that we've done the orbs and we've done the guillotine, we now can grab our ghost lantern. A ghost lantern will appear above the witch's mansion and will start floating around the town. What you need to do is cook a frag grenade to knock it off of the sky. The ghost will get spooked from the explosive and will drop the lantern to the grounds so that you can go and grab it. Be careful as if you ever down with the lantern in your inventory, the lantern will need to be reacquired just where you went down. We now need to charge the lantern. To charge the lantern, we need to get witch kills. Each time you kill a witch nearby, you'll hear a ding noise. Once you stop hearing the ding noises, you'll know that the lantern is fully charged. Simply go over to the gunsmith roof, where you'll see a lantern symbol, and you'll need to build the lantern into the wall. You should see a cipher pop up before you. Use this cipher key to solve the three phrases that you're given. There are five possible phrases that you could get. Dry Gulcher Shaft, Bone Orchard Vein, Lunger Undermines, Groundbiter Pits, and Consumption Cross. What you need to do is melee the three signs that correspond to what your cipher translated to. You need to use either the Bowie Knife or the Galvanuckles to trigger each sign. You'll know it works when the sign is glowing a bit red. Once you've meleeed all three successfully, a Wisp should spawn in. However, because this is Richtof inside, you won't be able to see the Wisp unless if you have Vulture Aid. On screen right now, I'll show you the pathway to get to each sign starting from Quick Revive. Regardless which sign that you end with to spawn your wisp, the wisp will always end up in the barn and then make its way around to the guillotine. However, once you reach the general store, the wisp can go in two directions. It either can go to the candy store and then straight to the guillotine, or it'll go to the bank tunnels, then to mule kick, and then it'll end up at the guillotine. Next, you need to fill the guillotine with five souls from nearby zombies or witches. After the guillotine is filled with enough souls, you'll need to spin the box for the time bomb. Have all four players of your game huddle around the guillotine, plant your time bomb on top, and then detonate it. This will send you into round infinity, where our goal is to search dead bodies for a switch. 
the switch will only be located in one body, but I will show you all 13 spawns for the bodies right now. Keep in mind, whilst you're on round infinity, the zombies literally have infinite health, so you can't really kill them unless you have an insta-kill power-up during the time. If you find the switch, but then down, and you don't have enough time to grab it before round infinity ends, it's very likely that the part itself will be right where you died, and you don't have to go back into round infinity to find where the part is on the ground. However, there is a good chance that the part will be glitched underneath the map. At that point, you'll basically be soft locked unless you can no clip down to get to it, but that's probably not going to be the case. So at that point, you would have to restart your game. So needless to say, just be careful. Once you've collected the power switch from the dead body and you've waited long enough and are teleported back from round infinity, simply build the switch onto the guillotine and we can move on to the next step. For the next step of the Easter egg, we'll be going to the maze to flip four switches in the correct order. The switches are color coded to represent red, blue, green, and yellow, but the order that which you have to flip them is random every game. On screen right now, I will provide a cheat sheet to all six different possible arrangements that the maze can be set up in. You simply reset this by everyone leaving the maze. Resetting this will affect the fences, but it can sometimes affect the hedges. Most of the switches are located on the fences, except for the yellow switch, which has one possible spawn, which is in the hedge right here. It's the only one that acts like this, and it's just the one possible combination where this can be in. This step is trial and error. So, after flipping all four switches once, if it doesn't complete the step, simply reset the maze and try again. To know if a switch is correct, simply listen out and watch the switch that you've just pulled after all four switches have been pulled. If the switch sparks, then you know it's in the correct order. Once all switches have sparked, you should have completed the step and we can now move on to sharpshooter. To begin the last step of the easter egg, head over to this fountain here and hold your interact button to make a wish. What this will do is it will start a sharpshooter minigame where small cowboy targets will pop up around the map. What you need to do is shoot every single target that pops up. If you let one of them fall down without shooting it, then the step will fail and you'll have to start over again. Don't worry, you get infinite tries in this in-game, just go back to the fountain to start it up again and make another wish. On screen right now are all four locations of where targets will spawn on the map. The witch's mansion, the saloon, box area, as well as the candy store. I recommend grabbing the PDW wall buy since it's a very easy to obtain weapon, it has very cheap ammo, and it has a decent clip size, so you won't have to reload as often if you're savory with your shots. Don't worry, you can miss, but again, if one target falls over without you shooting it, then you are too slow to shoot that target and you will fail the step.
If all the targets were successfully shot, you should receive a Perkaholic and get the achievement Mind Games for completing the Easter Egg. If this helped you, please like the video, as it does help spread my content. And be sure to subscribe so you'd never miss future guides that I upload on this channel. If you'd like to see other Victus guides on this channel, click this playlist here. Or you can check the Maxis side here.